Hi everybody, this is Ronnie. And this is Diana. And we are here to talk about Canva. <laughs> so this is a new show, a new concept of a show uh, where Diana and I will just jump on a casual conversation mm -hmm. and talk about Canva, right? Because there's so many things to talk about. Uh, me being a Canva employee now and you being a Canva certified creative. Yeah. Uh, a uh, regular user so we have a lot of things to talk about so tell us a little bit more about this show what are we going to talk about yeah so today we are going to talk about how Ronnie feels about working in Canva Ooh, eh? and then finally we are going to talk about two new features in Canva mm -hmm. so we're going to give you something uh, educational at the end of this video all right, so let's jump right in. Uh, we hope that you guys like this new show, this new format. Uh, we want to make it more like entertaining and more like, okay, you know, casual. It needs to be fun for us as well uh, because we have so much to do like on a regular day that uh, this is actually fun. I'm, I'm enjoying doing this kind <laughs> of content. So let's jump right in. Do you, do you want to start? Yes, I want to know, mm -hmm. I want to ask a couple of questions about uh, you working in Canva. So right. how long have you been working in Canva so far? So, so far it's been um, a month and eight days because I started on the 30th of October. Okay. So a month, a month and a week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how do you feel about it? Like how, how is it to change your entrepreneur how do you say that? Entrepreneurship. <laughs> Entrepreneurship, um, kind of like a lifestyle uh -huh. into being uh, an employee. An employee. Yeah. Right. Well, I was, uh, to be honest, I was afraid about this because I have been an entrepreneur for for 10 years now and I had somehow I kind of promised myself I would never work for anybody again. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then Canva comes with like a very appealing proposition in terms of no an amazing job description yeah like, an amazing this is crazy like when i was reading his job description i was like man i want your job like <laughs> it's so amazing and also i also promised myself like i am never going to be an employee anymore when i when i saw his job description i was like <laughs> well so yeah indeed uh it seems like when canva decided to hire me they really did their homework and they they, they kind of scouted me, they, they understood what I was about, they understood that I had this passion for nonprofits and this experience for nonprofits, but also they kind of recognized the work I was doing as a community manager, as someone who can really build a tribe about Canva and, and have some amazing engagement. Um, and and also, also you work in uh, education. And also, yeah, the work I'm doing, um, creating online courses. So they kind of combined all of this into my job description. And we agreed that I would start because the, the offer came from them quite suddenly for me, actually. <laughs> uh, and they wanted me to start ASAP. So um, I had to kind of put my foot on the, on the brake a little bit and say, okay, yeah, I, I, I agree to work with Canva, but I cannot just drop everything I was doing and just move to Sydney. Uh, it's not possible for me to do that. So we agreed I would start as a remote worker. So I'm working, I'm still, we are still in Thailand and uh, we'll be moving to Sydney beginning of February and I'm working part-time. So that means four hours uh, a day. Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing we need to know that uh, I'm working only part-time and I'm combining this with the job I was doing before, which is being an online entrepreneur and creating my course. I'm trying to finish my course about personal branding, which is almost finished. I'm, mm. I'm going to launch it next week. That's yeah. for sure. Um, but and we have a lot of things on our plate. Like it's incredible the amount of things we have in our heads. Like uh, Ronnie, especially, he's uh, doing the Canva job like mm. part time and then building his massive Master branding course, course. <laughs> like it's, Personal branding. it's crazy how big and how much money he has been investing in that course then we are going to colombia really soon mm -hmm. so we have all this planning and logistics mm -hmm. yes we're going to visit my family 
And then what else? We have all the logistics for the visa to go to Australia. It's Ooh. crazy. And then moving and then his family coming to visit is... A bunch okay. of different things. But uh, <laughs> enough with our problems. And um, yeah, I'm so just saying that you have a lot of things yeah. right now. So, but to answer on. your question, like you asked me... Uh, how is it different to work for Canva as compared to working for yourself as an entrepreneur? Well, actually, it's not very different because they give me a lot of freedom. I don't know if it's because I'm a remote worker or if because the culture be. is like this, but I'm really free to, of course, I have some goals, I have some objectives, and I have some lanes I have to stay into, like communities and nonprofits, but I'm, I'm really kind of free to develop strategies. And that's what I've been doing. I've been working on a strategy for nonprofit. I've been working on strategies to improve the Canva communities. So the design circle, the teachers communities, nonprofit communities. And now I'm starting to put my hands into the, the CCC community. So uh, I, I really feel like I have all this freedom to create and I have the support of the Canva team, my colleagues, and also like the, the managers. Uh, they are supportive, so that's that feels great. That's amazing. Okay. Yep. So maybe we can move ahead and sure. go to the next topic, so we don't do a half an hour video. We're gonna give you guys some tips to save a lot of time in Canva. And we're, gonna, we're going to talk about a feature that we use a lot. Each of us are going to present one of the features that we love about Canva. Uh -huh. right? Okay, so let's transition back to Canva and let's uh, and I'll give you the mic, you can start. Give you the mouse, not the mic. The mic <laughs> shares. Okay, so let's go to a Canva free account, free really account. detached from our Canva okay. stuff. Okay, so are you sure this Canva account is Yes, completely this is basic. Basic, yes. like a normal us user. I never user. use it, it's, it's the basic. Okay, let's go to a presentation template and I would like to show you guys uh, like different shortcuts to duplicate elements. Good. So let's go here to the elements tab mm -hmm. and I'm going to select here a flamingo I saw today. <clears throat> okay. Nice. So uh, what I would like to do is to duplicate this flamingo in different ways. Okay. And if you guys are still watching this video, if you try any of these options, I'm going to tell you, please let me know if it works. Okay. <laughs> if it doesn't work, she doesn't want to know, but if it works. No, yes, please let me know. <laughs> I test this. I test this one out before, and um, don't worry. You save. You, this is the free account, so everything you can do here, anybody can do it. So just be confident. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Spread your wings, your flamingo <laughs> wings, and fly. It's time. Okay. So the new functionality. This one is actually new, mm -hmm. and it's available to everyone. I read that in an email today. Okay. And this option is the right click. So I'm going to right click on this flamingo. Mm -hmm. And then we have this option here. Canva related options. Yeah. Yeah. So copy. And then I'm going to right click again on here on the page and paste. Okay. So now I, I see here this little window that is asking me like uh, Canva is uh, okay. See text and images copy to the clipboard. And I say you have allow. To allow it. Yes. Yeah. Allow, the first time, and, and then, then my flamingo is here. Mm. Okay, next option is obviously this button if you haven't tried out before. Duplicate. Yes, so this is the... Straightforward. Yeah, yes, straightforward. Okay. Then next one is you press the keyboard Alt. Or Alt, you, yes. or Option on the Mac. I yes, think. you press Alt, mm. and then you... You keep the press, like you keep the button pressed and, and then, you move and then you drag. Yes, you drag the element. Okay. So I press Alt and drag the element. Okay. Okay. And then one more, one last option. I think we yep. had one. It's uh, control, control D. D. Control D. Control, I select my element and then control D. Boom. Or command D on the Mac. Or command D. Boom. All right. I have all my flamingos there. Guys, please, if you try this out, let me know if it works. Of course it works. <laughs> okay, and now she's kind of traumatized. Uh, I'm going to show you something else I like. Uh, let's say 
you didn't do such a good job at organizing your flamingos and they look like this. So select all the flamingos and then you go to the position button right here and then you can space evenly I love either that vertically or horizontally so here is kind of like a horizontal alignment so i'm going to use horizontal this one. mess <laughs> and then this one no what happened no you need to press bottom you you select the wrong option bottom bottom yes this one uh -huh. oh yes okay <laughs> All right, so now all the flamingos are evenly spaced horizontally. And if they were, ah, I know what I did wrong. If they were like this, for yes. example, I want to select these and position them and evenly space them vertically, I would use this option. And then you have the same distance. Another cool thing that not many people know about Canva, if you select the flamingo in the middle, for example, and then you press Alt and then you hover your mouse uh, to the next flamingo, you can actually see some numbers, right? 61, 61. This gives you the number of pixels in between the flamingos. But you have to keep your finger on the Alt key on the PC or the Option key on the Mac to actually see these numbers, these distances between the elements. And so that's uh, useful to see if your flamingos are evenly spaced, right? So let's say I have this, select the flamingo in the middle, Alt, and move my mouse around 26, mm -hmm. 78. And if Fancy. you bring it closer, again, 40. And the way to do it faster is just to select them all, space them evenly, horizontally. And now, again, Alt or Command 33, 33. Mm -hmm. So just a little tip for advanced uh, uh, good, good. flamingo lining. If you're a flamingo liner, this is super useful. Anyways, uh, this is not what I wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you is the copy style button. So I know that we've been using this, um, that I've been showing you this in a tutorial uh, recently, but I want to show you a few more of the, um, uh, the, the different uses of, for this copy style button, right? So the copy style button, where is it? First, we need some elements in this design. So let me go back to elements. I and also something I saw recently is these keywords here. Like when you search for stuff, now Canva that? added uh, like suggested keywords for searching for, no, for new stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, I also like the recently used yes, I love it. Uh, elements. Okay, so let's use your flamingo. And let's use these pandas right here. Okay. <laughs> let's give these pandas kind of like panda colors. So a panda is mostly white and black. Well, and white and uh, let's mm -hmm. say pink. <clears throat> okay, something is wrong here. This color should be black. Should be black? No. <laughs> so yes, the eyes uh -huh. should be white. <laughs> Hey, hey, no, it's not working. So let's uh, put gray, gray. I just want to show <laughs> okay, something crazy. Like <laughs> let's say you want this flamingo to be as funky and these as this panda. So how would you do that? <laughs> you would select the pandas, use the copy style button, and then select your flamingo. Ah, that one, I like it. Yeah, like I like the combination. That's yeah. pretty funky. And if you want to add a penguin in the mix because why not why not uh, but be careful here that this flamingo has four colors the penguin here has five, five colors so let's see what happens when we try to color our penguin it's <laughs> pretty cool so what we are doing here is just copying one element and then uh, pasting the style of the element the style the attributes of the element and uh, let me show you how to do this to something a little bit more uh, professional looking so I have here a bunch of gradients okay that I'm going to simply uh, upload into my design here so that's another thing I want to show you that I do all the time when I have elements that I want to look exactly at the same size to, to adopt exactly the same size I just import them in the middle of my page I don't worry too much about where they land but just on a blank page and then I select them all and I reduce their size like this all at once. So I'm pretty sure they're all 
the same size. So that's pretty uh, useful and I do this all the time, mostly with uh, letter frames uh, or stuff like that. So I have this, okay, and let's say I want to uh, harmonize these gradients to a specific color of gradients that I'm using all the time. Okay. Use this one, the pink one. This one? So we use this as our model. Okay, what's important to understand also is that all of these gradients have two colors. Two colors. Three colors that one has. Let me see. This one has three colors. So you this should, one might yeah. look a little bit different. Let's try with the two colors first. Okay, so I want to copy the style of this using my copy style button, but I'm going to show you the keyboard shortcut. So if you press Control, Alt, and C, you, well, of course you have to have the element selected. Control, Alt, and C, or Control, Option, and C on a, on a Mac, and then you select the three other ones. That one is to copy the style. Copy the style. Control, Alt, V, v. or Control, Option, V. Boom, you Ooh, see, voila. copied the style exactly I love it. Uh, the, the right way. So what happens now if you copy the style of something that has three colors, three attributes? Let's see. It looks, yeah, doesn't well, work. It, it does work, but it selects only two of the options. And one of them is and white. One, is, one of them is white. So doesn't uh, look very nice. Well, it doesn't look perfect because uh, Canva is selecting the last two colors. So it doesn't like take the green color into account. So it's better to copy paste um, attributes when uh, the elements have the same number of attributes. All right, so we hope that you learned a thing or two with us today and that uh, our little tricks were useful. Also, let us know what you think about this new format for our show. Uh, this is a show that we are experimenting <laughs> with you guys uh, at this point. It's called Let's Talk About Canva. It's more like a casual conversation about different things, uh, news, but also features or things behind that, the scene behind information. The scenes. Anything yeah. really related to Canva. I figured as now I work at Canva and you are a CCC, maybe we have a bunch of different things we could bring uh, to the table and just talk about it. Yeah. Um, so we would like you to tell us if you like it or not. If you don't, there is no point of us continuing doing this. We actually enjoyed doing it, <laughs> uh, but you have to like it too. So let us know in the comments and also let us know if you have any suggestions of topics you want us to talk about or things to show you because this would be the like the best uh the best time to do it mm -hmm. like in this show we have time we can just show you uh whatever you desire to learn <laughs> all right so thank you guys for okay. your attention thank you guys for watching we hope you like this show this is let's talk about canva with ronnie and diana and see you in the next video see you in the next video Bye. -bye. Bye. <clears throat> this one here mm -hmm. Let's uh, go here to this color setting. No. <laughs> For this specific purpose, we have the duck. All right, so. <laughs> Diana looks like beaten. I want to keep this in the video because this is the magic of creating videos. So. Oh my God. So, so we should have like. All right, so what we learned from this, <laughs> let's come back to... Uh, what we learned from this is that being a content creator, con content creator, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. In order to do this, you just copy everything on one page, you hit the button, and then you go select everything here and paste. <laughs> <laughs> this needs to stay in the video, please. <laughs> What happened here? So I'm going to go back. I'm trying to understand. I'm dying. So let's take, for example, this box right here. I want to oh copy this God. style. 